Used to keep it cool, used to be a fool. All of me. I'm just kidding. This is a joke. Don't take it seriously. I'm too young. Should I keep it light? Stay out of the fight. No one's gonna listen to me. If I write a song, preaching what is wrong, will they let me sing on TV? Should I keep it light? Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Sam Nicole here. Alright, so today I just wanted to make a, a shorter video on my updates and how I'm following up with my surgery. And it's been about, it's going to be around two weeks now. And I also want to show you, um, again, if you have a weak stomach with seeing like things inside the body and all that, you may not want to see the picture showing part, but I, if you want, just skip it and then you can see the rest on how I am doing right now and maybe it'll help you um, on any hardships you're going through, any type of surgery, and maybe it'll help you recover because I'm going to explain to you on how I'm going to do, or I've been doing everything these past two weeks and it's been going really well for me, so I hope it will for you too. And pictures. These are literally pictures inside my knee. So if you don't like these type of pictures, um, don't watch that part. <laughs> so, first of all, thank you for coming back. Second, I'm doing really well. I had a checkup appointment on the ninth day to check up on my stitches. And I have five wounds because I needed three well, two for my ACL and two for my meniscus, and then I needed one. Obviously, they make an extra one to fill the knee with water to operate. So, um, I went to my ninth appointment. He said everything looks amazing. Usually, they they take off the stitches on the 12th day, but since they healed so well, um, he took all of them off except just um, one stitch that has four stitches on them. But usually, I had, let me count because I remember how it looked. It was one, two, three, four. I had 14 stitches and now I have four left. So tomorrow, another Monday appointment, I'm gonna take those off because he wanted that one to heal a little more just to be on the safe side. And then also I already got approved to do physical therapy this week. So I'm really excited. Um, but he explained to me that these next four weeks um, I do need to wear the brace for four weeks post-surgery, so um, it's on my second week. I do stop wearing this brace, because I'm not wearing it right now, which I'm really happy. He tells me to stop wearing it, or I don't have to wear it the whole time. He basically tells me to wear it when I'm going out, or like walking on it. Um, basically when I'm out really not at home so he says if I'm resting or anything or while I'm doing my exercises I don't obviously need my brace and I could air it out because you know having it in there is kind of it gets kind of antsy some things that I've been doing to get my ACL a bit stronger and things that they suggested to me or the exercise they give you are um, flexing of the foot while your knee is locked then also, this pretend this is my knee, locking it for five seconds, bring it back down ten times each, um, three reps of them. So you'd be doing 30 at the end of the day. And if you want to do more, go ahead. I choose to do more sometimes just so I can speed up the process. And then also another three reps of ten um li leg lifts so basically my injured leg i'm lifting it to get that quad muscle strong and then the last exercise i do is with the machine that they gave me it basically just bends my knee for me and it straightens it so i can get used to bending my knee slowly but surely so when i get to physical therapy i'm not having a heart attack and i'm not freaking out of how much pain i would be in 
anyways that is it so far for the exercises i will get new exercises this week when i see my therapist and i'll let you know how it goes <laughs> Pray for me, Athena. Pray for me. Put your hands together like this. Yes. And pray. Yeah. Are you looking at me? No? Okay. Do you want to pray for me? But yeah, um, see? My leg is good. Um, this is as straight as it can go right now, but they said that's really good. So, I'm hyper extended. This is my other leg. Let me show you. This is how my knee needs to look. I have hyperextended knees and I am also um, my muscle, my, my quads, I am quad dominant, that means genetically my quads are bigger than my hamstrings or anything so I think also that has to do a lot why my muscle didn't completely collapse in the, like after the surgery which is great because he also saw me in this appointment the last appointment and he's like oh this is great you have full extension you're healing faster and um your muscles intact so that's really great news and what else what else i had other great news well for me it's great because it's going by a little faster and i really can't believe it's already the second week it, i thought it would have felt longer um that's right i do have to wear the brace <laughs> until basically a month later, four weeks, which is June 9th, because I had my surgery May 9th. And then I basically don't wear it anymore to sleep or anything like that, because the physical therapy, these next two weeks to three weeks of therapy is gonna be um, bending it and all that stuff, because I can bend it, because I have a machine that they brought that I showed in the last video, um, helping me bend my knee and also the exercises as well but nothing like a good physical therapist to help me bend it completely to at least 90 degrees, he said. But I, then I, um, after those four weeks of bending in physical therapy and all that, we're gonna crank up therapy and start walking and cycling and all that fun stuff. I know it's gonna be painful, so I'm kinda looking forward to it because things are gonna move a little faster and I'm not having my leg just chilling. I do get bored but yeah everything is going great that's what's been up up to this point I just wanted to update you guys because I don't want to make another 30 minute video but that was just basically to explain the gist of how everything went down and how I was dealing with it and I know it helped a lot of people who are about to get surgery or had surgery and like are not doing well so that made me really happy that I can help you guys so if you're ever going through something or anything, you can leave it in the comment down below. I can help you or just answer you back as best as I can and give you just my personal positive opinion. You know, not everybody has positive people around their life, so it's good to have a good positive feedback most of the time. I know I love po positive feedback. Every now and then you get that negative feedback and you just gotta brush it off your shoulder. So now we're getting to the pictures so if you don't like looking inside body parts and all that organ shit or any type of surgery things don't watch it let's get to it this is my knee it's a samantha perez this is the doctor and the hospital i was at and my date of surgery this is my surgery pictures they do take pictures while they're working on my knee this is my right knee acl but this is they just put that um basically saying what knee i'm getting operation on and all that like the procedure but this this picture is my meniscus and i have my acl on the other one so i'm going to show you this is them going in looking and this is my meniscus right here so if you see this right here my meniscus has flipped or had flipped and um, basically it's no good anymore so what they ended up doing is go to the next page cutting it so basically it's no good anymore and this is what it looks like now um, they say I won't feel it um, 
and it's just really hard to heal and they ended up stitching the other corners you can't see it because it's more around the they ended up stitching the rest of my meniscus so they did repair did they they did do a meniscus repair so this is what it looks like now it's all clean nothing flipped and if i felt anything weird or anything in my knee obviously i did feel a lot of things in my knee um that was one of them and now we're going to move on to my acl <sighs> boom this is them in my acl there's nothing there see nothing 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 anything do you see anything because i don't right so that's them cleaning out the area this is all water by the way so they can that's how they do surgeries if you didn't know um that's them cleaning out basically my acl area then this is them drilling my knee cleaning it out this is them putting the new acl in this is like a seat belt for the acl so it can have e enough strength to not um less chances of tearing this is my new acl you can see right here this blue thing is the seat belt is what we called it he says it looks great on my knee fit perfectly it's kind of gross but sorry that's them inserting it in there yep and that's my acl intact it's my new one and that's about it so you saw i didn't have an acl inserted a new one that was it got part of my meniscus cut off and repaired the rest and that's it that was my flutes meniscus so i did have two separate surgeries woohoo <laughs> so that nasty part is over yep all right now that i got all the pictures out the way you saw the mess I had in there, and I was dancing like that for a good year, so I honestly don't know. I just, I can't sit still. That's what I do know, and good thing they helped me because I honestly felt like my knee was going to just collapse on me, and that's what made me do the surgery. That's what made me do the surgery. I'm talking funny. And, um feel better now I don't feel as much pain it is painful still because obviously I had surgery about 10 days ago and I am walking on it I'm always leaving the house when my mom gets home from work because I get tired of being home besides that um I'll show you where they took off my stitches again if you don't like this stuff skip it <laughs> this is my knee after taking off the stitches you can see all the rash I had from like the medicine and all the surgery stuff. I do have really sensitive skin, so please excuse that and all the bruising it had. But it looks way cleaner and better than what it did before. This is my other leg. You see, I just get red pigmentation. Probably because I'm really cold in my house. But anyway, um, I have no stitches on these four. These are my other stitches I'm going to take off tomorrow. And these are called butterfly um, band-aids. So basically just working a little bit like a stitch, but not as not as strong. <laughs> but it, they are healing pretty well. And I'm really happy about that. And for this I had to they did recommend cortisone, which I did use it and basically picture my knee covered in all of this because of the itchiness and the rash it would give me from surgery so it is 10 times better see it's all getting cleared up but since i do have i tend to have sensitive skin and those who get surgery that have sensitive skin um this is common for them you know bless the sensitive skin Goddamn. <laughs> and yeah this is what it looks like as of now and i'll keep you guys posted for more Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this short video. It was just to keep me posted, like I promised. And if you haven't yet, uh, click the subscribe button below and like if you liked my video. 
and you can check out the rest of my videos they're all different and if you haven't seen my previous story on how this all happened and what I have is that I didn't have an ACL I ruptured my meniscus and I had surgery on it and this is me giving you an update like I promised in the last video so this is part two and thank you guys for passing by once again um if you ever need somebody comment down below I'll answer you as best as I can and love you guys like and subscribe I'll see you guys next time bye come on Nina my dog's name is Athena come on come to me no she, she doesn't like me today you don't like me today? Come on. Yeah! She likes me. <laughs> Someone likes me. Just kidding, I love you. She looks like a puppy, but trust me, she's like five years old already. So, in dog years, add all that. Five years? Yeah. She's just burping my face. It's rude. Okay, for real. Bye. Should I keep it light? Stay out of the fight.